Apple released the iPhone 7. These are my first impressions. So the iPhone 7 has no headphone jack. It's water and dust proof. It has a front facing 1080p video quality camera. It also has a seven megapixel front facing camera. Um, so those are some of the improvements that I like. Um, but there's also a better processor. There's actually no longer any physical home button. It's a home button that worked with the Taptic engine. And so there are a couple of, a couple of improvements. Um, let's talk about the ones that will actually um, benefit those who are coming not from a 6S, but maybe a 5S or even an iPhone 6. These are my top four picks for the iPhone 7 for anyone who's coming from a 5S or iPhone 6. Number one, the removal of a physical button. I've seen so many people use the, the handicap or the accessibility function where you can actually use a digital home button versus the actual physical button because they were afraid that their actual physical button would stop working. So a lot of people have been, those who have been waiting for a long time to upgrade their phone, they've been waiting for, they've been kind of longer for something like this. So I think the, the lack of a physical home button is good for those users. Um, the, the addition of waterproof and dustproof, I think that's important. Only if you're out in the, 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 the wild shooting pictures of nature with your iPhone for whatever reason, or if you're, if you're, if you're constantly out, out and about with your phone doing specific things with it, that you need it to be waterproof, but I don't see it being a big, a big deal, but that's something that's, that can be helpful for someone who's looking to upgrade. Additionally, um, the front facing camera, that's going to be helpful for me. I do a lot of periscopes. I know a few people who do periscopes and I'm sure they can take advantage of a better quality sensor and improved image quality coming from that camera. Now, obviously periscope compresses the video. So it's not always what you get from your camera. It's how it's being saved with the company that's actually doing the delivery or doing the, the transfer. Um, and number four would be, um, it's not better battery life. No, it's not better antennas being integrated into the body of the phone. No, it's probably just the processor. So there's not a lot of compelling reasons for me to jump ship from a 6S. If I had a 6S, 6S to a 7, or if you had a 6S to a 7, I wouldn't recommend you jump and ship to the 7 because the improvements haven't been that, that major. But if you're coming from an older model, 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 5, definitely upgrade to the 7. Don't even just skip... Don't even go to the 6S unless you felt like you had to. It doesn't make sense going to an iPhone 6S because within a year's time, if you're going to upgrade, you're not going to you're not going to receive as much money as if you were if you just bought the 7 and sold the 7 in a year. So it's just a better move. Overall, the iPhone 7, I would give it a 6 in terms of innovating from the previous model. In terms of if it's an older model phone, iPhone 5S. 5, iPhone 6, or even a Galaxy 5 or 4, I would say it's worth it. I would give it a solid 8.5. Or, yeah, I would give it an 8.5, not a 9. No, definitely not. So there are some good points to it, but only if you're coming from an older phone. So to me, all of those things, The let's just go over the updates again. No physical button. The front-facing camera has been improved. Water and dust resistant. Faster processor, um, a cleaner look overall, an additional color, not a big deal. And um, there's just one other thing I'm just trying to think. And the upgraded camera sensor on the back as well. It's still 12 megapixels, but they've increased the, the um, f-stop to from 2.2, from I believe, to, or f2 to 1.8, which gives you a bit more low light capabilities. So again, this is Carlin C. So until next time, guys, peace.